Cincinnati Sports. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Barry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans' starting lineup. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Zion and Valanciunas in the middle. And it's McCullum at the point. And for the Clippers, filling out the wings, it's Mann and George. Mason Plumley out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Harden in at the point guard position. All right, Grant, we're now in the middle of the season. Lots of miles traveled by everyone, including broadcasters. You got a favorite NBA city? Hey, B.A., you are spot on, especially when it comes to us broadcasters. But a favorite NBA city? You know, I've always liked Atlanta. Now here's McCollum. Here's Jones. Shot clock at six. Pass to Williamson. Stolen by Harden. To the middle. Here's Mann. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Grant, with the Pelicans, so many of the past few years have started with such high hopes. Yeah, B.A., and at the end of every season, it feels like there's a big what-if hanging over New Orleans. They haven't been able to catch many breaks in recent years. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. That one's no good. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Here's Harden. After the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago. And he buries his first look. I love it. When Harden shoots, he commits. A little contact isn't going to upset his mechanics. McCullum, a pass to Ingram. Here's Williamson. Oh, solid D from Leonard. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And it's New Orleans ball. And he makes it on the layup. And some pinball action out there as defenders just bouncing off of Williamson on that play. Pass to Plumley. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Here's Mann. Leonard for three. Knocks down the triple. Wasting zero time. Kawhi Leonard knew what he wanted to do. For New Orleans, they've gone two of three from the floor. Outside Jones. And yep, it's good. Timeout, timeout. That's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Outplayed in their previous game on their schedule, losing to the Cavs. They kept the game close, but made a lot of mistakes. And we heard about it from the coaching staff afterward. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustment so we'll see tonight if they do
And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Tice is checked in for Plumley. Tucker comes in for Leonard. Powell, he's checked in for Mann. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Harden. Now here's George. He's coming off a 13-point game against Cleveland. Westbrook right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Powell. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Oh, man, that was tough, but Powell taking pride in making the tough ones. You know, when the Clippers first moved to L.A., people assumed they'd be second fiddle to the Lakers. Not necessarily the case. Well, B.A., to, to be honest with you, they were for a long time, and then they moved into this building. There was a bit of a shift, and the Clippers started dominating the regular season. They don't have the championship, but I'll tell you what, a powerful owner and a couple star players That'll flip the faithful around for you. And he drops a first. And Brent, for the Pelicans, it seems like it's a matter of time before Willie Green's group puts it all together. Now they certainly have the pieces and on paper, B.A., they are very, very scary. It's a young and talented core, and there's no reason that these guys should not be moving up in the Western Conference standings. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. As one of the top two-way players in the draft, Daniels was on a lot of teams' radar, and that kind of versatility will always get a player some attention. Tice, count it. One for one to start the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. That's exactly the shot they're looking for. Westbrook left side. Rebounded by Daniels. The Pelicans have gone 4 of 5 so far. Looking sharp. Pass to Zeller. Here's Hawkins. He's guarded by Highland. Back to Zeller, to the left wing. Here's Hawkins, over Highland. Up again, controls the rebound and the putback. Well, Nance can be quick, and this time out hustles his opponent to the offensive board. Powell for three. And finished off by Tice. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Pelicans on top, up by two. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. And with the surge in scoring around the league, Brent, what's the key to modern NBA defense? Great question, B.A. I mean, you have to have versatility. You have to have coaches that can get creative. And you got to have players who are wanting to buy in on the defensive end. You just cannot give great scorers in this league, has a ton of them, a steady diet of shooting from three. And you got to keep them guessing. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones, and it's Valanchunas in at the center. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Here's Ingram. And the Pelicans miss again. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. 
And looking at Brandon Ingram's game, Brent, a lot of similarities to Kevin Durant. Yeah, most of that B.A. comes with the build-out, right? Just a slender guy who can get the job done offensively. But this guy can create problems for defenses, and he can also defend and cover his spot. A lights-out three-point shooter, Harden loves to take and make them. Up top, McCullum, defended by Harden. Valachunas against Plumley, and it's stolen by Plumley. Now here's Leonard. He's covered closely. That puts him in the lead. Harden's got seven points. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Englewood, designed to give fans every comfort, and the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, you better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Ali. Tice is checked in for Los Angeles. Man comes in for Powell. The drive by Ingram. Tice with the defensive effort. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. When you think about Paul George, still regarded as an elite two-way player, Brent. Yeah, you get that dynamic play on the offensive end where he's capable of 35 points any given night, but defensively shutting down a team's perimeter all-star, that is rarefied air for a star player in this league. checked in for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook comes in for James Harden and taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for James Harden. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. About three minutes played now in the second quarter. Alvarado into the lane. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. And they're on the run. The finish! And finished off by Westbrook. Well, he's edge of your seat material out in transition. Westbrook is equally adept at pulling up for the shot or taking it to the rack. Back to Zeller. Nance, the pass to Hawkins. Misses the three. And it's Westbrook with the ball for the Clippers. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Good on the shot. They have no answer defensively inside. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. loose six on the shot clock pass to Hawkins from outside the arc fires in the triple Hawkins has got five points five ticks left to play in the first half Leonard way outside and no good trying to get that one to fall 
Leaving little room to work. Murphy not giving an inch on defense. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Clippers ahead, leading by just two. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, guys. Alongside Ty Lu and Coach, what's the focal point for this team as you approach the second half? Just playing hard, first of all. And then, you know, playing with pace offensively, I've been doing a good job of getting to the basket. And then defensively, there's going to be some time with them to work things out. But they've been pretty good. Pace so critical to your team's success this year. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. They gained a little ground there in the second quarter. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the field. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans played? Whatever their game plan was defensively coming in, that needs to change. Can't let a team shoot for a percentage of the high 50 and expect to come out on top. It's on the coaches and the players to adjust. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Nice game. What a performance by James Harden. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Terrence Mann is out there with James Harden. And it's Plumlee in at the five down low. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Harden from outside. The shot comes out. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. James Harden picks one up. And you look at what C.J. McCollum brings to the table. A skilled marksman and a calming presence in the locker room. Well, what do you expect from the president of the Players Association? I mean, he's got to be regal. He's got to be refined. And he's super polished on and off the floor. Shooting two. The free throw drops for McCollum. Just a smooth scorer is C.J. McCollum, and that combination of being confident and crafty keeps helping him pile up points in terms of his career statistics. Now he's at the line. McCullum drops them both. Now Los Angeles with it. After this game, they can look forward to Washington, where they'll match up against the Wizards. And that starts a four-game road trip for them. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep them from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. You have to give Paul George a lot of credit. He's willingly accepted a secondary role in the Clippers. He said, quote, Kawhi is the number one. I'm the number two. There is no ego. I'm totally fine with that. I try to compliment him and also take the load off of him. And Brian, when they are both right, there's not a better tandem in the game. Mm, good point. Top tier. Thanks, Allie. That's about as good a job you can do as a defender. Affect the shot and grab and secure the rebound. Here's George. Oh, it's blocked by Valentunas. How about that 7-6 wingspan of Valentunas? That helps him erase the shot. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, 
you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. 13 feet out. And again, New Orleans, no good. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. And the Pelicans also making a change. Daniels is checked in. Such a versatile guard. James Harden is a triple-double threat every single night. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Pass to Valentunas. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. For the Clippers... Tice is checked in for Plumley. Tucker comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Highland in for Paul George. McCollum against Highland. Over McCollum. And the Clippers miss again. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. And the whistle Hit. blows as the That's basket good. counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. And the Clippers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. What's up? Ingram just continuing to impress and taking strides in the right direction. Just a tremendous amount of offensive weaponry. Highland, the pass to Tice. To the right side. Westbrook drives. It's tipped. The Pelicans trail. And Larry Nance Jr. is an impressive player, mainly because of his all-around game. Yeah, there's a lot of things that he picks up, B.A. He picks up a few scores around the basket, he'll grab a couple of dirty rebounds, and he defends well. Speaking of defense, he'll guard a couple of positions, so a very versatile forward. Powell outside. Westbrook finds Tice. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Tice has got his third basket on the night right there. The Pelicans have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Here's Hawkins. And Russell Westbrook pulls it down. And it's Westbrook with the ball for the Clippers. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Westbrook quick to find the open man that time. New Orleans is shooting at a decent clip. 45% for the game. gone about three and a half minutes here into the third sinks the tray you got to appreciate the consistency night in and night out he brings it now Powell they look to him to score consistently averaging around 13 and a half a game And Norman Powell, as a point getter, understands the value of the free throw. He's been over 80% for his career at the line. First one falls for him. Yeah, can't sleep on Powell defensively. He will step up and start to pour it in. No, 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. The third quarter comes to a close. The Clippers on top. They lead by five. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So for New Orleans right now, Zion and Valanchunas in the middle. C.J. McCollum is out there with Jose Alvarado, and it's Jones in at the small forward position. Here's Valanchunas, takes it into the teeth of the D, and converts the layup. Not much else the defense can do. Valanchunas just finds ways to score inside. Plumley with it. McCollum covering. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That'll be a second foul of the game. James Harden, he's checked in for man. Inside. Leonard on the wing. Covered by Williamson. Shot clock at six. Outside for Harden. Fires from deep. Pelicans cleared away. Next up, they'll take on the Rockets at Toyota Center. And that'll be the fourth game of this five-game road trip. McCollum drives in. Oh, Westbrook with the block. And Russell just bringing it right now on defense. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's Harden. And Harden with the slam. <laughs> Check it out. Harden putting on a show, throwing down an acrobatic dunk. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. Here's McCollum. And he can't get that one. Excellent D there from Westbrook. Pass to Plumley. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Here's Valanchunas, and he knocks down the 10-footer. Valanchunas has got six in the quarter. Valanchunas can't step outside, and if he has a good feeling about it, he's going to let it rip. And the shot is good by Westbrook. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. We present our New Balance player of the game, Russell Westbrook. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them 
by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. The Pelicans making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. The coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. Thanks for that, Allie. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. An elite player in this league. I mean, George understands he needs to come through at the line in clutch moments. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle, the hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. good getting both at the line and it's a three-point game you might want to think twice before sending him to the line again he gets locked in when the game gets close ingram against george the shot by ingram no good and for the clippers they're shooting efficiently 50 percent so far harden the pass to leonard Leonard with the physical bucket. And who do you call when you need a big bucket for this team more and more? It's Kawhi. Pass to Ingram. Down low. And slammed it home. And a foul. A chance at another point is alive. It goes on Mason Pumley. Man, he's checked in for the Clippers. Judas. Those and one plays can be real backbreakers in a close game. McCullough against Harden. Here's George. Nifty move. Rebounded by New Orleans. Pass to Jones. Back to McCullum to tie it up. The rebound by Mann. So it's all come down to this. It's really that time where your leaders must step up. The shot's good. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Here's Ingram. He connects! And he's brought them within two points now. This is why you love Brandon Ingram. And they go to the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And how many times have we seen Paul George single-handedly just close out games by himself? We'll see if this is one of those times. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. And just Four. like that, this game is a two-possession affair. New Orleans calls timeout. They're behind by four. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? And no doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. It's funny. At this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point.
Jones, the pass to Ingram. To the paint. Valanchunas can't get it to go. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. So the first one drops, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. And the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Jones from outside. And knocks down the three. You want Jones to be assertive like this. If the three-point shot's there, you got to take it. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And it's Harden at the line. This team wants him there. You better believe that. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. Now that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation. Out to the right wing. Williamson for three. So it's the Clippers picking up the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Kawhi, as this team continues to prepare for playoff basketball, what are the habits you're trying to establish? Just playing the same way every night. Uh, even tonight, we felt like we didn't play too hard. So we just want to be consistent and uh, just keep getting better at playing hard and playing smart every game. Consistency is key. Thanks, Kawhi. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.